Here's tonight's 9 at 9. She provided police with key information that prosecutors say would lead to the arrest of the man who terrorized a apartment residence in a medical center area. Kimberly Pellez testified today in the trial of Anton Harris. She was out walking her dog when she says she encountered Harris. I saw this male all of a sudden kind of pop out of the big bush that was there. And there's also a tree right next to it. And it startled me and it also startled my dog. Her description of that man matched what another woman reported her attacker was wearing when she was raped three days later. The trial is set to resume here on Monday. We understand that the victim in this case will be among the state's first witnesses. An NYPD officer and his fiance accused of killing the officer's eight-year-old son. Police say the boy was kept in an unheated garage overnight before he died. The temperatures outside dropped to just 19 degrees. The medical examiner ruled the boy's death a homicide with hypothermia being a contributing factor. A massive explosion at a manufacturing plant here in Houston leaves two people dead. That explosion shook buildings in the area, damaging homes, sparking a fire and sending debris as far as a half mile away. Houston's police chief says there is no indication that the explosion was intentional. In California, two people killed and one hurt after a plane crashes near a golf course. That plane went down about a mile from the Auburn Municipal Airport. An Arizona mother and grandfather facing child abuse charges after police say they paid an 11 year old to take morphine. That boy told police that his grandfather paid him $40 to take half a morphine pill and to urinate in a cup for him so he'd pass his drug test. The man has prescribed morphine and reportedly told his grandson he didn't want to test positive for marijuana because if he did, he wouldn't get any more of his opioids from his doctor. The trial of Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein continuing in New York City today. Actress Rosie Pelez was called to testify. She says actress Annabelle Sciorra told her more than 25 years ago that she'd been sexually assaulted long before she went public with her story. Weinstein's defense team fought back against Sciorra's claims, questioning her credibility. Weinstein has pleaded not guilty and insisted all sexual encounters were consensual. President Donald Trump has become the first sitting president to attend the March for Life rally opposing abortion. Ruby Wade has got to go. It is my profound honor to be the first president in history to attend the March for Life. 47 years ago this week, the Supreme Court issued a landmark decision cementing the right of women to have an abortion. That decision, Roe v. Wade. Every year since, anti-abortion activists have used the date as a way to drive support to overturn it. Take a look at this. A Nebraska State Patrol trooper chatted up a little girl about the movie Frozen to keep her mind off a scary situation. I know Elsa, Princess Anna, Olaf. It came after her family's car slid into a ditch. Luckily, everyone was okay. 97,000 gallons of red wine spilling into a Sonoma Valley, California Creek this week. That's enough to fill eight large tanker trucks. Most of the wine is believed to have made its way into the Russian River, which is nearby and which flows into the Pacific Ocean. There have been no reports of fish death, but the acidity in the wine could kill insects that the fish feed on. To read more about these nine stories, head to KSAT.com.